Right, right, hello, Steve here. Welcome to Real Health. Who'd have thought, who'd have thunk, who'd have realized, who'd have imagined? I've said imagined. Who'd have studied for, qualified towards, uh, credential, credentialed about, um, you know what I'm getting at, food, food. It's all about the food. Even the fitness industry suggests. 80% diet, 20% activity. Um, yes, it is about the food, but you better be doing some activity for, uh, for those fitness people. I'd say 50-50 if you're really serious about um, the whole fitness look. If you're concerned about fitness as in just making the Olympics, <laughs> just making the Olympics, um, it's even less than 50%, so yeah, the 80-20 probably applies. Anyway, um, there's a lot to explain on that, but uh, you clicked on today. Today, dear Barbara O'Neill, she is a sweetie. Ah, oh, far out. Um, out of all the reviews I've done, yeah, I'll get that off next week. Um, out of all the reviews I've done, Barbara O'Neill, her content, her specialties, her her understanding, her know-how, her remedies, her prescriptions, her suggestions, you know what I'm getting at, are second best to me. And to many people, <laughs> that would suggest um, she's the best. If you don't want to have me in the mix, Barbara O'Neill, good for her. She's doing well. She's the best, apart from me. So, with Barbara, she, she doesn't mention it too, too often. She doesn't mention the whole gluten thing too often. Um, as in, no gluten. Um, she has referenced it, but not as often as I would. My whole health 44. Oh shit, sorry. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I should have looked around the corner. Um, that would have been a classic. So, um, she doesn't mention the gluten too much. With my Health 44, it's mentioned every single time because gluten is the biggest elephant in the room and there's probably about eight elephants. <laughs> if, if you count, oh well, if you count all the actual no-no foods and plus all the um, micronutrients we need to ingest, it's probably the health, fit, the health 20. But uh, in that health 44, the classes are there. So, as I should, because this is a, a platform, a, a, a space, one of those podcasts where people listen to it, and the way I present at the moment, it's pretty niche and Usually you get one listener and then they say, this is shit, I don't care. So I'm just going to suggest, not suggest, quickly run through the health 44, health 44, the first four of the 44, to be then healthy, the first four of the 44 is eliminating 90 plus percent of the supermarkets. That's uh, gluten, which is wheat, barley, rye, and oats. Oils, all oils in a bottle. Burnt animal fat and also, um, fried food, out. Then comes sugar, processed sugar, out, and if you're not already off fruit, reduce it by 90%. Bingo bongo, you will find out that um, you're all of a sudden healthier, right? And uh, nitrates, nitrites is the fourth category which we need to eliminate because that's, I'll bring that in because that's the new carcinogen in town. No, not, not sitting is the new smoking and all that sort of thing. The major carcinogen in town is nitrates, nitrites, mainly found in the uh, processed meats of our processed meat aisle, I guess. <laughs> the ham, the bacon, bacon, yes, bacon as well. Corn, corn beef, pastrami, spam, all that sort of shite out, okay? And the second four, the 44, which is introducing four categories of micronutrients, 90 micronutrients altogether essential, declared 
essential micronutrients. Um, 60 minerals in part of that, 16 vitamins, 12 amino acids, two essential fatty acids, and uh, within months, depending on your age, yes, it is an age and weight thing, depending on your age and weight. Yes, it's a weight thing. Age and weight, you will then be the whole health part healthy. So, Barbara, back to Barbara again. Barbara O'Neill. Uh, banned pretty much from Australia and New Zealand. Is she, in, is she hanging around Canada now? I don't know, but um, Wikipedia or Slanderpedia suggests she's 70 years old. And for someone that's doing silver, silver place, second place next to me, I'm, I'm gold. Um, she should be probably aging a bit, a bit better than she is. She has the mannerisms, the behaviour, the the movements, even the voice, certainly reflecting a stereotypical 70-year-old. She could be doing better if she was on the health 44. But, but the things that she talks about, the subjects, the um, prescriptions, the remedies, the insights, the anecdotes, the research, the age-old uh, historical knowledge that we have about herbal herbal medicine, natural medicine, uh, especially her insights on cane pepper, or cayenne for those people who want to say cayenne, but it's cane. Even Barbara says cane. So yes, Barbara has su suggested that um, bread, gluten is out of the question, but not overtly as I say. Oils, On one occasion, just one occasion I recall, I may not have seen every single reel that uh, Barbara is involved in, but she does suggest that oils shouldn't be in there, but uh, it should be overt. It should be overt. I have an issue with this wheel and if I come off it'll be maybe viral. So. Um, Fruit, she also suggests too much sugar in fruit. Fruit used to be a lot more bitter, less palatable, very seasonal, and uh, we have too much fruit the way we are set up now in our uh, food supply chain. So the gems, the gems that Barbara O'Neill uh, suggests for us all is very, very good. But the emphasis is not there that makes, that makes it a gold medal. She's in the silver position, going down the slalom in, in silver. I'm in the front. Talking about slalom, <laughs> I'm on a, a, a machine that moves and I could do slalom now. So, out of all the reviews I've done, Barbara is the cleanest the cleanest shirt out of the dirty hamper. I'm probably the shirt that's been worn once and has been chucked on top on that hamper. So I'm the gold medalist, the cleanest shirt. Is there better? There might be. And I've spent 4,000 probably plus hours now trying to suggest, try, trying to identify if there's anything better, a regime, a regimen, a prescription, which is, what, which is better than what I what I suggest for health. So I got myself into this caper, this healthy caper, eight or thousand, eight or nine thousand hours spent, and I've been trying to trying to be wrong for four thousand hours. Hasn't worked. Hasn't worked. Um, <laughs> apart from coming off this unicycle, yeah, with my don't crash it again, uh, with my Chinese riding boots. So, well done to Barbara O'Neill. I'm just trying to uh, think back. She understands even hormones. Cholesterol is very important. She understands saturated fats, very important part of the whole cholesterol complex, brain health, hormone health. Um, 
one thing that she should identify and go further into is um, declaring that, uh, that there's 60 essential uh, minerals that we need. She knows about the leaching of uh, minerals if you, um, if you drink uh, coffee, if you exercise with the sweat, right? She understands that. I'm a coffee drinker. Um, how much leaching is there? Is it 10%, 25%? No, can't be measured. But there is some leaching because of the diuretic effect of um, caffeine. That's probably another 1% thing that I could do is give up caffeine, caffeine but um, I've done the maybe 98%. The other, the other 1% is probably um, a bit more focus and uh, understanding of um, herbal medicine perhaps. So, well done once again with Barbara. She does understand minerals but the food supply chain part she she doesn't understand the whole how we used to well she does but she doesn't overemphasize the um, the whole idea how we um, how we lost our minerals from our soils electricity uh, dams all the minerals are trapped behind the dam walls that sort of thing and I haven't been this far down this track and I'm wondering how am I going to negotiate this easily done oh shit no it's fuck I'm turning around oh, oh, oh. <sighs> right <laughs> I wasn't going to go over a, uh, a cattle great thing anyway oh not even the oh the sound's going to be worse the light's worse I don't care Probably the sound is um, better than my original uh, startup one or two hundred uh, podcasts where it was done in the car, crappy microphone. This is it's still better, even though there's a lot of wind noise. So, um, if you're still wondering about our food supply chain, there's many podcasts that um, explain much better. This will make it a one-hour podcast, and I don't, don't want to go that far. And I haven't got the verbal mental acuity to sort of go go that far maybe not too much battery to get home too so um, so if you look look at uh, some of my older podcasts I explain everything about minerals left behind the dam walls and whatnot I've got this blog post or also a, like a a medium article where I explain um, the humanity killer will not be uh, carbon carbon dioxide or pollution or whatever it will be minerals left behind all those three million dam walls around the planet so if you want to go one step further Listen to Barbara's stuff, which is usually just videotapes of her seminars. But listen to me more. Listen to me even more. And you'll be healthier than Barbara. You may even be as healthy as me. If you get it, you will get very healthy. You will get, uh, get rid of all your chronic illnesses, weight issues. Uh, metabolic syndrome complex and, and the like except for um, birth defects your mama had micronutrient deficiencies during the first trimester and that's why you have certain birth defects if you do um, my sympathy is with that Barbara if only you aged better, you, you'll probably carry a lot more credibility. I don't know how I'll look at the age of 70, at the age of 50, and only starting my health journey at the age of 47. 
I'm doing okay, don't you worry about that. Even if you don't think I am, I know I am. <laughs> Compared to where I was, I was gonna die within 15 years, statistically speaking at that time. So, what else about, about Barbara? So the hormones, uh, with the weight loss, hmm, she doesn't understand weight loss. She doesn't understand pica. She's around the edges. We need to be satiated with the micronutrients, but she doesn't understand fully absorption. She references very seldomly increasing our salt intake to, um, to make our digestion digest better, to lower our pH level down to hopefully 2.0 and sub 2 battery acid levels to um, digest our food. That heartburn complex out there, you need more. You need more acid, not less. And that's where the PPIs, the gastric reflux medication are wrong. Absorption. I think she might have even mentioned absorption with the small intestine. But not as well as I do, or emphasise as much. I adopt some of the herbs that she suggests are go-tos, including cayenne, turmeric, I'm into, I have it in, on my eggies in, in the mornings. Protein, she acknowledges. So, with all that, she is an A. I am an A plus because of my certain emphasis which is the big turbo boost to the health regimen that we should be on. So, any athletes or gym goers out there, you better supplement more. Uh, Barbara doesn't understand that using a calcium supplement as an example that um, we're only probably absorbing 5% of that. We need to cut our gluten out totally. She doesn't, Shelly mentions gluten superficially to the point where she doesn't really, I don't think she's even mentioned wheat, barley, rice, wheat, barley, rye, oats and buckwheat. So she needs to emphasize that as well to get to a closer A plus than me. So, without, um, hmm, should I, should I wrap up? Some smart asses will always say, yes, you should wrap up now because you may as well quit while you're also still behind. <laughs> um, Barbara, Barbara, what else with Barbara? Can anything else uh, come my way? Um, excuse the pause uh, to the podcast people yeah I think that'll do I think that'll do fertility hmm. she scoots around the edges still with, with all, all the different um, ailments out there she, she does scoot around the edges and she references um ultra old historical ideas with uh, natural remedy uh, poultices, poultices and poultice, yeah. Um, this and that garlic and all that sort of thing, she's into that. Um, we, can, we can be doing better. If there's no um, pharmacy around with cortisone cream or anything, Maybe some ginger, garlic type ideas and, and the like will make a difference, but um, with uh, antibiotics and, um, and the advantages of cortisone, hydrocortisone, cortisone, corticosteroids and all that sort of thing, um, without that, uh, we'd still be fairly stuffed with acute acuteness of um, Acute occurrences of um, health issues, 
But when it comes to the, to the uh, chronic stuff, um, listen to the A plus guy, this guy right here. Okay, so that's it. I'm just about to do a, um, a short about Barbara to relate this video to this podcast as well. Hopefully this was um, of some further value on people that love Barbara O'Neill. Others that are uh, probably a bit under an A plus, a P, um, PhD. They say he's a bought PhD, but uh, Dr. Reese, he's also on the right path. He actually takes longevity products. But uh, as soon as he said that he's gonna have some pizza, some gluten-free pizza. Nah, 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 he's, he's still got pica. It's just like asking, like, for the vegan person, oh, I'll just eat, eat um, you know, nut meat, uh, fake meat, uh, imitation meat, uh, you know, vegan, ha uh, vegan ham, vegan bacon, um, that sort of idea. What am I gonna do here? Uh, this is also risky to, oh, to almost fall off. Hey! Some cross country for you again. So, Dr. Reese, should I do Dr. Reese? Uh, I'll get familiar with some, uh, I'm fairly familiar. Um, he's been in on a few shows. I'll never be on a show because I'm too right. I am so right Mwah. <laughs> that I'd kiss myself. So, look me up in three years, seven years, 15 years, 34 years. See how I'm doing. And let's compare Barbara O'Neill, Dr. Reese, Andrew Huberman, everybody, and see how we're all comparing. Because all those people, the, the oldest is, um, what's her name? Uh, Barbara, Barbara O'Neill. Most of those people are in their 50s, I think. Also, Doc Reese is um, in his 50s. Andrew Huberman, late 40s. There's um, all the fitness people out there which are under 50. So, compare notes. Compare notes, that's all I got. So, um, until the next time, thanks for your listening and viewing support. I don't care if you don't subscribe or like. I'll continue doing this because um, I'll have the reassurance that um, I'll still be healthy, um, living till 100 and beyond hopefully because I started fairly late too so that's it on Barbara until the next time ciao how am I going to stop this thing ah, I can't reach that far because of my, my arm eh? Hey?